This video shows how you can set up Excel CSV files or comma-separated values to import bank transactions into QuickBooks. To start, QuickBooks Online can import CSV files that use either a three-column or four-column format. The three-column template has columns for the date, a description of the transaction and the amount of the transaction whereas the four-column template has a date column, a description column, and both a credit and debit column. It's important to note that these are the only columns QuickBooks can import. Each bank formats its CSV files differently, so importing a CSV file may not be possible for every financial institution. To successfully import your bank transactions, your CSV file must be formatted correctly. If you try to upload an incorrectly formatted file, you will receive an error message. Some of these restrictions include using special characters such as currency symbols, brackets and commas etc. These are not allowed. Be sure to remove zeros from the file and leave those cells blank. You must correct any transactions that include a number in the description. Remove the word amount if it appears in the name of the credit or debit column. Mac users must save the file as a Windows CSV file. Correct and standardize the date format to a single format, for example, month, day, year. Some banks provide the day of the week and include it in the date column, which is not an acceptable format. It's best to split the date and day into two separate columns. CSV files for credit card accounts may display transactions in reverse. For example, deposits may appear as negative amounts because paying your credit card reduces your balance. To make sure credit card transactions post correctly to your company file, be sure to select a corresponding credit card account, not a bank account, in QuickBooks Online. Now that you have your CSV file set up correctly, it's time to import the file into QuickBooks. First, go to the Banking menu and select Banking. Select Upload Transactions. If you've never connected an account, you can select Add Manually. Select Browse and choose the file you downloaded from your bank. If you haven't downloaded your CSV file yet, follow the on-screen instructions in the Upload File window to download your transactions and then select the file you downloaded. Then select Next. From the QuickBooks account drop-down list, select the appropriate bank or credit card account, then select Next. Map the statement fields according to your CSV file format and select Next. Select the checkboxes of the transactions to import and select Next. When prompted to import now, click on Yes. Select Let us go when the import completed notification appears. Once the import is finished, you are directed to the banking window where your imported transactions are displayed on the For Review tab. You can review, add or match each transaction. You can also enter any additional information such as the category and payee for a transaction on the For Review tab of the banking page. Another great feature is that QuickBooks will enter information automatically if you have set up any banking rules or if QuickBooks recognizes the descriptions of your transactions. And that's it. Now get started.